All right, you economy enthusiasts and procrastination professionals, grab your calculators and your sense of humor, because we're about to dive deep into the fiscal wonderland of Asia. We're talking nominal GDP numbers so big they'll make your bank account cry, and economic strategies more complex than your ex's excuses. Welcome to the ultimate countdown of Asia's top 10 largest economic powerhouses. Before we dive in, smash that subscribe button like it owes you money. It's free, and it'll give you something to do while you're pretending to work. Now let's kick off this parade of prosperity with number 10, Thailand, boasting nominal GDP of $548.89 billion. Known for its beaches, Pad Thai, and an uncanny ability to make tourists think wearing elephant pants is a good idea. Thailand's economy is like a spicy somtown, a little bit of everything thrown together. Tourism? Check. Manufacturing? You bet. Agriculture? As abundant as the smiles in the land of smiles. They're mixing traditional charm with modern hustle, proving you can have your mango sticky rice and eat it too. Sliding into ninth place is Taiwan, with a cool $802.96 billion of nominal GDP. This island might be smaller than your average billionaire's yacht, but it's packing more tech than a Silicon Valley garage sale. Taiwan is a world leader in semiconductor manufacturing and high-tech industries. Companies like TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, are pivotal in the global supply chain for electronics. They're the reason your gadgets gadget and your chips compute. And let's not forget their night markets, where you can stuff your face with stinky tofu while buying a smartphone case and getting your fortune told. Talk about economic efficiency. Saudi Arabia cruises into eighth with $1.11 trillion, riding on a wave of oil slick enough to make even the slipperiest politician jealous. They've got more oil than most countries have drinking water, and they're not afraid to use it. But hey, they're not just about the black gold. Solar power to smart cities, they're trying to prove there's life after oil. And let's not forget al Hijr, their ancient rock-cut city. Because nothing says, we've got cash to burn, like carving entire cities out of cliffs. Turkey gobbles up the seventh spot, also with $1.11 trillion. Straddling Europe and Asia, like a confused continental gymnast, Turkey's bringing you the best of both worlds. One foot in the bazaars of antiquity, the other in gleaming skyscrapers. They're the world's largest producer of hazelnuts. Nutella addicts, thank Turkey a major player in textiles, and they've got an automotive industry that's revving up faster than a sports car on the Autobahn. Plus, their strategic location makes them a natural bridge for trade between Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. They're serving up kebabs with a side of economic ambition, tourism, manufacturing, agriculture. Turkey's mixing it all up in an economic donor kebab that's making the world drool. Indonesia spices things up at number six with $1.48 trillion. This archipelago has more islands than you've had hot dinners, and each one's contributing to the economic melting pot. Palm oil, coffee, and enough natural resources to make other countries green with envy. They've also got Komodo dragons, nature's way of saying, hey, lizards can be nightmare fuel too. From Jakarta's bustling streets to Bali's serene beaches, Indonesia's proving that diversity isn't just a buzzword, it's an economic strategy. Halfway through and we're just getting warmed up, Stick around as we dive into the top five. Will there be surprises? Will there be mind-boggling numbers? Will there be more terrible puns? You bet your bottom dollar there will be. South Korea slides into fifth place with a hefty $1.76 trillion. This isn't just the land of K-pop and kimchi. It's an economic powerhouse that's been strutting its stuff on the global stage. They've turned making catchy songs and addictive dramas into a national export. But don't let the glitz fool you. Behind the scenes, they're cranking out semiconductors, ships, and smartphones faster than you can say, Gangnam style. With internet speeds that make the rest of the world look like they're using dial-up, South Korea is living in 3023, while we're stuck buffering in 2023. Mother Russia bear hugs the fourth spot with $2.06 trillion. Spanning two continents and 11 time zones, Russia's got more land than it knows what to do with. From oil and gas to vodka and caviar, they're resource rich and not afraid to flex about it. They've got Lake Baikal, deep enough to hide all the world's secrets and still have room for a submarine rave. Whether they're launching rockets or Olympic athletes, Russia's always aiming for the stars, 
or at least the top of the medal table. India Namaste's its way to bronze with a whopping $3.94 trillion. With over a billion people, they've turned organized chaos into both an art form and an economic strategy. From tech support to Bollywood, they're culturally invading your life whether you like it or not. They're serving up a spicy economic curry that's part IT outsourcing, part manufacturing powerhouse, and part, how many people can we fit on this train? It's a land of contrasts, where ancient temples rub shoulders with Silicon Valley-esque tech parks, and where cows have right-of-way over Ferraris. Japan snags silver with $4.11 trillion, proving that good things come in compact, hyper-efficient packages. They've somehow managed to balance ancient traditions with robots that can probably pass the Turing test and beat you at chess. From bullet trains that make your country's rail system look like a kid's toy to anime that's got half the world speaking in badly dubbed Japanese. They're living in the future while keeping one foot firmly planted in their rich past. They've turned manufacturing and innovation into an art form, much like they did with arranging flowers and serving tea. And the gold medal, the top dog, the big cheese of Asian economies goes to, drum roll please. China, with a mind-boggling $18.53 trillion. This isn't just an economy, it's an economic behemoth that's got the rest of the world both impressed and slightly nervous. They've got a wall you can see from space, cities that make New York look like a quaint village, and enough economic clout to make global markets hiccup when they sneeze. From tech giants that are giving Silicon Valley a run for its money to manufacturing everything you've ever bought, check the label, you know it's true, China's not just playing the game. They're rewriting the rules. So that's it, Asia's largest economies. From the tuk-tuk lined streets of Bangkok to the gleaming towers of Shanghai. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Asia's economy, remember, behind every number is a nation of people hustling, innovating, and occasionally wondering if they can afford that extra bubble tea. Again, if this video taught you something, congratulations. You're now slightly more qualified to have an opinion on global economics. If not, well, at least you killed some time you could have spent being productive. Either way, you're welcome. Smash that like button harder than these countries smash their economic growth targets. Leave a comment telling us which country surprised you the most, or just to argue about whose street food is actually the best. Until next time, stay safe. And this is your favorite YouTube channel, Top Best, signing off.